Hello guys, Brad here with another fragrance review. Today I want to talk about Sombre Negra from the House of Yosh. It came out in 2011 and is classified unisex. At Fragrantica, the note breakdown, vetiver, patchouli, cedar, alibinum, pink pepperberry, black peppercorn, clove, juniper, citrus, nutmeg, cumin, tonka, and orris root. At base notes, we have three positives, one neutral, zero negatives. Price pointing on this one, um, like you said, sells 50 ml bottles for $130. Now, uh, I got this fragrance uh, courtesy of the Fragrance Brothers. They did a spotlight video on the House of Yosh and gave away several of these uh, little decants here. And it came with a complimentary uh, old school uh, mustache there with the uh, mustache wax on the corners there. Um, Basically, what I'm getting here is a traditional, old-school, vintage leather fragrance. There's no leather mentioned, but it does give you a leather vibe. Um, I get like a tobacco feel from it. Plenty of herbs and spices in the mix as well. Uh, smoky. Starts off kind of harsh because those herbs and spices do hit you right off the bat. As it mellows down, more of a smoky feel. Um, so, I would say, yeah, don't judge this one right away. Give it an hour or two before you really start to make your final call on this one. Uh, it is in the same vein, I think, as Leather Oud, Tuscan Leather, Michael by Michael Kors. Um, I think I do prefer Leather Oud over this one because I really enjoyed the honeycomb note here. But let me get into some final scoring here. The smell starts off kind of harsh, uh, about a 3 out of 10, until it does kind of improve a little bit and gets up to about a 5 out of 10 to my nose. Projection longevity. Not a huge beast like I expected, being more of a vintage feel, but not bad. 8 out of 10. Versatility, 4 out of 10. More of a fall, outdoorsy feel scent, I think. Price point, 4 out of 10. Um, quite pricey there, I think. Um, but, you know, in the same vein as, like, the Tom Ford private blend line. And this does kind of give you a private blend feel. Uniqueness, 6 out of 10, because it does kind of have that same feel as other leather scents. Overall, I get 5 out of 10. Um, yeah, the overall feel I get from this one is just kind of being out in the backyard, raking leaves. Maybe somebody's burning a pile of leaves out there, and you're rolling around in the leaves with your little son there and having a good time. This is not, you know, the leather jacket that you got for Christmas from your girlfriend. This is your grandfather's leather jacket right here. The one he wore hunting, grouse, turkey, um, rabbit deer, the one he wore when he was smoking his pipe on the back porch and his cigars, the one that's been through two marriages and one ugly divorce, an old vintage leather jacket feel. Uh, it's okay, but not my favorite in its category. I give it 5 out of 10. Thanks for watching, and I hope to talk to you guys later.